appears to be a widespread panic all over the city and most communities are left without telephones, power or water. There appears to have been some sort of an unknown attack, what is described as bloody corpse in trans-like state. Looks like I need to drop some knowledge. Zombies. How do I keep my hoodie so white? I don't miss, baby. Sorry. Now there are a lot of different schools of thought when it comes to the undead. But they all seem to agree on two different kinds of zombies. You've got your slow zombie. And you've got your fast zombie. Zombies were introduced to the mainstream by George A. Romero in a little film called Night of the Living Dead. Here we see the lumbering undead hordes that just pulverize through barriers with sheer numbers. These creatures feed to feed. If you get knocked down and overwhelmed by a horde of zombies, you're gonna be made into lunch quite quickly and quite effectively. You see, the biology of the zombie is taking advantage of the biology of the human. We are omnivorous in nature, but predatorial in history. Our teeth have a combination of cutting and gnashing and grinding because we are hunter-gatherers. So zombies are a really interesting take on the predatory nature of the human race. Now alone, these slow lumbering corpses aren't that dangerous. In fact, a handful of them aren't gonna give you too big of a problem. The issue comes when the horde arrives. These slow moving but dangerous herds of the undead have been known in movie history to devastate entire landscapes. Just look at some examples from The Walking Dead and one of my favorite zombie movies, Shaun of the Dead. The slow moving zombie is by far the classic. Sorry about that. The second species of zombie is the one to fear the fast zombie. This particular sect of the undead is not undead at all. Most of the time, fast zombies come from disease. Fast zombies are normally manufactured by a laboratory experiment gone wrong. Fast zombies are cunning, intelligent, and aggressive. They feed out of a territorial instinct to kill. Like, if you wandered into the wrong part of the forest that was the territory of a giant grizzly bear, you would get mauled for the same exact reason. Fast Zombies came on the market in Danny Boyle's film 28 Days Later. We wake up in a post-apocalyptic London not knowing what's going on until it's too late. These zombies were fueled by rage. They kept most of their central nervous system functionality and most of their brain functionality. That made them some of the most dangerous zombies to date. Until... Sorry. I gotta hurry up. Until a director named Mark Forrester 
showed us exactly how bad it could get. Mark Forster directed World War Z, starring Brad Pitt. This movie showed exactly the magnitude and exactly how quickly fast zombies could make things apocalyptic. These zombies were not only super fast, they were inhumanly strong and very organized. This particular film showed you the worst case scenario. Now, I'm not one to tell you how to live your zombie apocalypse, but take this one little piece of advice. Now, there are dozens of schools of thought when it comes to dispatching the undead, but they all agree on one universal truth. Head, dead. It's quite simple. Hit your zombie here, and you're gonna go home. Hit your zombie anywhere else, and you're what's next on the menu. We can't talk about zombie films unless we talk about the man himself, George A. Romero. George Romero is responsible for introducing these zombies to the horror genre. From Night of the Living Dead, to Dawn of the Dead, to Day of the Dead, to Land of the Dead, and everything in between. From consultation, to direction, to production, to screenwriting, to just plain being in the industry and being a champion of the genre that George was. We are better that these films exist. Thank you, George. That's gonna do it for this episode of Creating Fear 101. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. I drop new videos every single week. If you have a topic that you would like discussed or if I missed anything in this particular video, make sure you leave it in the comments below. I'll see you little undead warriors next week.